Having unique intros and outros can make your content more recognizable. They're also great to promote your product or website. With the tool I'm about to introduce you, adding intros and outros in bulk takes only a few clicks, so tag along. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unicorn Verder. An intro and an outro can be your brand's trademark. There is something that your audience can identify you with, remember you by, and all in all, they can be part of the viewing experience of a video. Think of major TV shows here like The Game of Thrones, Friends, Narcos, that all have memorable intros, but so do Marvel movies, Disney movies, and I could go on and on and on. It's the same with outros. The message you want to convey in the outro part of your video is just as important as everything else. When it comes to TV shows and movies, it's the end credits, where they pay respect to all the people that made the film. In a case of a video, it's the call to actions, the promotions of other videos or future events. So it's good to have some kind of an intro or outro. If you choose a universal one, like an intro animation that basically transfers the viewer from the first few seconds of content to the rest of it, and an outro animation that ends everything, here are some important factors that you should keep in mind. Don't make it too long, I'd say 3 seconds tops. A long intro can make people click away because it has nothing to do with the content they want to watch. Remember, a video is only a few minutes, so an intro can't take on several seconds of it. It's enough if it's almost just a transition. Make also those seconds worth their time. Make it creative, eye-catching and related to your brand. Use creative pieces of music or audio so the viewer doesn't lose interest. Try to follow current trends. Nowadays, it's all about simplicity. No need for crazy tax animations and flare animations, 3D and whatnot. Similar things can be said about outros. However, chances are that even your most loyal subscribers will click away before that comes. But make it unique anyway. You'll never know who stays until the end. So, if you are about to rebrand your content or repurpose them for other platforms, here's a tool that will help you out. The intro and outro tool in the Uniconverter can remove the beginning and the end of the videos in bulk and add intros and outros to them as well. If you don't have the Uniconverter yet, make sure that you grab it from videoconverter.wondershare.com and once you have it, open it up. Go to the tools menu on the left side here and open the intro and outro tool. Up here, you can choose whether you'd like to trim the beginning and the end of the video, or you want to add intros and outros. Let's start with trimming. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use some of my very first videos from 100 years ago that had this horrendous intro and outro. Not that I wanna use these videos again, but if I were to use them again, I would definitely have to rebrand them. Now, on the right side here, I can manually set the amount of time I'd like to trim or I can adjust it down here within the player window. If you need to remove the exact same amount of time from all of the videos, click on apply to all, otherwise you can set the right amount to each individually. Choose an output folder and then just simply click on start. When it comes to adding intros and outros, switch to the adding tab up here. Import your videos the same way, let's do the same ones that we just trimmed. Now add your new intro and outro with these buttons. You can once again do this video by video or just apply the same intro and outro to all. Before you start a process, choose an output folder and then click on start. And that's it. It's a very easy way to trim and add new intros and outros to your videos with just a few clicks. So leave a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.